Well, hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful, what day is it? Um, Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday. Hey guys, I wanted to pop on here live. Actually, I had had this discussion with uh, members of my team th th today, actually, and I thought it was completely applicable here. And so I thought I would take that message that I shared with them and share it here as well. So question for you, how many of you have caught yourself saying it wasn't supposed to be like this? Anyone? Can you raise your hand? Give me a heart. Give me a like, whatever it might be. Have you caught yourself actually going down that rabbit hole of Ugh, it wasn't supposed to be like this, right? You know, just this past week, I called our friend who happens to be a travel agent and I said, hey, Kim, I'm so sorry. I hate this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Mike and I have to actually cancel that trip. And Mike and I had, we had canceled this trip that we were so looking forward to. It was like a five night kind of event that we were gonna just enjoy each other and relax on the beach on this beautiful resort. And it, it just, it wasn't supposed to be like this, right? And even now, I was touching base with one of my really good friends. We're supposed to be visiting her in Florida. And I found myself saying, I don't know if we'll be there. And it wasn't supposed to be like this. And this idea popped into my head. You see, a few years ago, I caught myself saying that same thing when I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was angry and through that anger uh, came this season of, of grieving. It came this season of allowing myself to process what I was feeling and being okay with sitting in that suck. And here's the thing, I think a lot of people are like, what's my next move? Full steam ahead, what am I supposed to do? Give me a call to act, there is my son, by the way. And he knows this story so I'm actually kinda glad he's listening. So you can hear his mom work through all of this. And so I very much remember saying, okay, I need to allow myself this season of processing what is happening. You see, a lot of people are saying, but it could be worse. And a lot of people are looking and comparing their suck to somebody else's suck. But we are all in this season of uncertainty. And we are all in this season of, I don't know when it's gonna end. And we are all in this season of being impacted in some way. And so that means all of us need to allow ourselves that grace of stopping and feeling exactly what is happening. And even when I was going through my treatment, I allowed myself to sit with it. I allowed myself to say, this sucks. I allowed myself to say, this isn't how it was supposed to be. And once I was able to feel that and process it and grieve what was once my normal so that I could go on to accept what my current situation was, I actually felt physically like this, this giant weight had been lifted off my shoulders and it was only because I allowed myself to feel it. I allowed myself to process it. I allowed myself to grieve what I once knew so that I could start walking through the doors of what is. And so today, I just wanna give you a couple of tips of what I did then when I was going through that season and what I still find myself doing now. And there are five things that I'm finding to be incredibly important right now. And I don't care if you're a business owner, I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom, I don't care if you are somebody who is just processing that you don't know if you have a job or you don't have a job. All of us can benefit from these five things. So number one, I want you to move. I want you to start every day with a workout. And maybe it isn't first thing in the morning. Maybe for you, a workout is going to come later in the evening, but every day challenge yourself to get up and move because here's the thing about movement. When you move, you release endorphins. And when you release endorphins, you're relieving more of that stress that you might actually be carrying unknowingly. So all of those thoughts that go on through your mind on a regular basis, you can start to take them and tangibly move. What's up, Dee? He was the whole thing without me. He didn't watch any of it, baby. It's been paused because I have the Roku. He hasn't touched it. It's right here. Number two. Oh gosh, I know you guys are all in this too. Prep yourself for the day. As hard as it might be to adjust to this new normal, 
That's not how we act. Would you like to come here with me? As hard as it might be to adjust to this new normal, to your kids being home, to the craziness of your schedules, to anger, to frustration, to all of it, to what you are witnessing right now. Hey, Dominic, I'm not telling you again. Come here. You mean Ellie's in my own mom and you got her own Come here. Mom up. I know. Come here. Are you done? Can I finish, please? As you are processing this new normal, get yourself prepared for the day. I've been telling my kids that I want them to get dressed. And for me, it's just instead of sitting around in yoga pants or allowing myself to not even worry about getting showered, I move, I get up, I act like showing up for myself is important. And I tell my kids, this one, the same thing. Number three, do something that stretches your mind, okay? So here we are adjusting, guys. We are adjusting. But this might be that season where you've been putting something off for so long that you feel called to do that you really want to do. What is that thing? Is it starting that email list? Is it maybe looking into services that you can provide online? Another stream of income that you can begin? Is it that you have dreamt of writing a book? Hey, right here. Now is the time that you can start taking action on those things. Number four, you're gonna do three things a day. You can't do it all right now. You guys, we can't. I can't do it all. I'm out here in my family room doing this because I knew I only had a little window of time. And it's not perfect, but I can do three things a day. And one book that my friend Taylor reminded me of today is by Randy Zuckerberg. And it's called Do Three Things. And it's that simple. You don't have to create this list of 20 or 30 things to do and then feel guilty because you don't get it done. Write a list of three things that you can do and set your day up so that those three things can get done. And then the last thing, get enough rest. Go to bed at your usual time. Don't stay up until midnight, scrolling the feed, trying to figure out what's going on in the world. What I want you to do instead is get sleep. Eight hours, seven hours, whatever that is to you where you can just allow yourself the grace of laying your head at night and doing your best and getting some rest. You know, and the last thing, it just as one business owner to maybe another business owner that I wanna share with you is you may have had incredible goals and you may be incredibly frustrated with, right now with the fact that you are not getting those goals met but you are still doing work that matters. And so if you can sit back and say, I know that I can make an impact right now. And although it won't be perfect, I know that creating an impact is eventually going to create an income. And then if you're like me and you feel like your arms are totally loaded with all of the things you have to carry, remember, he's got this, all right? And I hope you know above all that me and Melanie, we are rooting for you. Not that we're seeing, thinking it's gonna be perfect, but we are rooting for you. You've got this, all right? Let's do it. Okay, can you push end? Do you see the one, the word end? Upper right hand corner. Yep, and then, okay. Yep, and now 